Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have solo mined a Bitcoin cash block, my second Bitcoin cash block, and I'm pretty excited about it. This one's a little bit more special than the last one, and I'll explain why. Well, I'll explain right now. So, I managed to mine this block, solo mine this block, with my own personal devices. Now, a week and a half ago, I solo mined a Bitcoin cash block from uh, renting an enormous amount of hash rate for about 24 hours. So I rented 10 petahashes per second worth of miners for 24 hours as a bit of an experiment for the channel here. 23 hours and 15 minutes into that, I hit a Bitcoin cash block and my gamble paid off. But this one was with my own personal miners on solopool.org and I woke up in the morning and realized that at about three o'clock in the morning, my Avalon Q hit a difficulty of a little over 2T which was more than twice what it needed to secure a Bitcoin cash block. And I was 3 point, ah, uh, what did I get? I ended up getting something like 3.09 Bitcoin cash coins richer. Now, to that end, to that, on that topic, whatever. This is a little bit of a weird topic for me to discuss because my nature is to be a very private person, particularly when it comes to things that are financial. I don't like to talk about what I have or what I don't have. Quite frankly, it's nobody's business. But the channel that I have here is about Bitcoin mining, specifically solo mining. And I think it's important to talk about those victories when they occur, because if I'm talking every day about devices and strategies and all these other things, but I'm never making any money or nothing's ever happening from these things, then what's the point, right? We don't buy these things to sit on our desk and look pretty. The point is, to wake up in the morning with a little bit more money than you had when you went to sleep the previous night. And so when I hit a block or when something like this occurs, I think it's important to get on here and talk about the fact that it happened, how it happened, and you know, the things that all kind of fell into place to make it happen. So it's my little spiel there, that's my speech. I don't wanna feel braggy. I don't wanna feel like I'm getting on here. I know the world's a tough place. A lot of people are struggling. I don't wanna get on here and say, hey, look at me, I got more money, Woohoo! Uh, but again, I mean, that's what the channel's all about, and so when it occurs, I gotta talk about it. Um, anyway, that's it. That's my little speech as far as that goes. So I was on solopool.org, bch.solopool.org specifically, and I had four devices connected with an average hash rate of about 116.74 terahashes. Now that includes two NerdQX++, one Zyber 8G from Tiny Chip Hub, and one Avalon Q. And uh, the Avalon Q was the one that actually hit. I'm very proud of it. It did a great job. It was the first time the thing has ever hit a block. And uh, yeah, overall, it was exciting stuff. So total payout was 3.08039 Bitcoin cash. It took about 16 hours to actually get paid. The reason for that is when you solve a block, the block that you solve has to mature. So that means there has to be a hundred other blocks that occur for the block that you solved to officially mature and for you to actually get paid off. So total time on that was about, I think, 16 and a half hours, roughly. And then I saw the funds hit my wallet. A couple of quick things here. We'll talk about how to get set up, because I had somebody ask me on either Facebook or Reddit, I can't remember which one it was, uh, how to get set up on Bitcoin Cash solo pool to mine for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, but real quick, this video is sponsored by Hashwatcher. Check this out. I don't know if you can see that there. That is the remote display uh, for one of my NerdQX++ on my desktop here of my iPhone. Now, I'm a beta tester for Hashwatcher, and there's all kinds of great features coming soon. Uh, you've got things like support for the Avalon Nano 3S and Avalon Q with all kinds of great things that you don't have on the Avalon app. For instance, you have things like fan controls and mode scheduling and access to more data than you see in the Avalon app. So that's great. Uh, you can also add all of your devices and you can monitor and adjust the frequency and voltage and all kinds of other great stuff right from the device. Now, if you go and download this thing, I don't make any money. Download it if you want to, don't if you don't want to, that's okay. Uh, but the developer is a good friend of mine and so I want to give him a shout out. He's not paying me for this sponsorship. He's just hooking me up with some cool things like Hash Watcher to use for the rest of my entire life. Uh, but this thing's great. I'm loving it. It's a uh, really cool, kind of like a mining command center in your pocket. I've got access to every single one of my devices. 
and it is pretty great. Check out Hash Watcher on the App Store. It's not available for Android yet. Don't know if it ever will be. So, you know, there's that. Back to business here. So, solopool.org. Uh, basically, pretty easy to get connected. If you go to bch.solopool.org, it will take you to this page here. And then you're going to want to go to Start Mining up in the top right here, right-hand corner right here. Uh, click that. And I think there's some confusion as far as the settings here because you've got a variety of different servers. Now, basically, you just select the server that's closest to wherever you live. So if you live closer to Europe, pick that one. If you live in the United States or around the United States, pick that one. Uh, as far as the ports, you've got three options, low-end hardware, mid-range hardware, and high-end hardware. Low-end is going to be like your Gammas, your Avalon Nano S3Ss, uh, all the way up to like a Q. I'd say about zero to maybe 120 terahashes. Uh, Mid-range hardware, that's going to be like your Bitmain S21s, stuff like that. High-end hardware, that's going to be like your proto rigs or your like massive mining farms or whatever the case. If you've got like, you know, 30 petahashes or something like that, uh, you'll, you'll want to use that 9002 port. But I was using 8002, the low-end port for all of my devices. It works just fine. Uh, the minimum difficulty is 250K on uh, solo pool. So if you log on to this thing and you're like, hey, I'm only getting like a few shares a minute, that's because it only counts shares that are above 250K as far as the difficulty is concerned. So some pools, it's like 1,000, and obviously 250K is 250,000, and so you get a lower number of high quality shares, but none of those shares matter unless they hit anyway. It's just worthless, wasted work, more or less. Uh, but have uh, I've had good luck with Solo Pool. I use it for a couple of different coins, and I think I'm going to keep at least four devices on Solo Pool all the time now based on this recent exciting win. So, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm sold on Solo Pool. Now, again, the fee is just a little bit higher than it is on Via BTC. And, you know, if you live somewhere where maybe Via BT is getting a better connection for you, Via BTC gets a ton of blocks. I'm not saying don't use Via BTC. In fact, no pool is really luckier than another. It really boils down to your connection speed. So if you've got a faster connection somewhere, just, you know, use that one. It comes down to your device. So, you know, you're not going to be more likely to hit a block on solo pool versus Via, via BTC or any other pool. Uh, it's a matter of it's all random. And are you lucky or not? Is your device able to fly up into those high numbers and get a really high share and secure you a block? So, I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm moving over to Solo Pool now after I saw you hit that block. You can if you want. I use it for a couple of reasons. I mean, I really like the, the GUI, the graphical user interface. I like the way the data is laid out. I like the fact that you can see the difficulty if you actually hit a block. You can see what that share was worth. Um, and there's some other things that I like about Solo Pool, and my connection is good, so that's why I use it. But there are some other good options. Um, people have a lot of preferences for their own various reasons, but it really, again, comes down to your device and your luck. Will the stars align for you at any given moment and make you some money? That's really what it boils down to. Uh, but yeah, solo mining's fun. It's, uh, it's exciting. I don't do much, much pool mining at all. It's not exciting for me to make $5 a day. I think with all of my miners put together, I can generate like 6 or $7 in uh, like Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, whatever the case is. And okay, it's 180 bucks a month. That's not exciting for me. I don't give a shit about making $180 a month at all. It's not exciting. If at the end of the month, if I look at it and go, hey, look, I have 180 extra dollars, it does nothing for me. However, the excitement and exhilaration that I get from waking up in the morning and realizing that I just got like, whatever, 3.08 Bitcoin cash in my wallet. Uh, that's exciting for me. And that's what I live for as far as this stuff is concerned. Uh, that is what makes this all fun and appealing and interesting for me. And so that is why I continue to do it. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. Um, we're going to keep mining for Bitcoin Cash, we're also mining, I've got one miner mining for Bitcoin too, the rest are all mining for Bitcoin. That's my next thing. I've hit a couple Bitcoin Cash blocks, now I would like to hit a nice Bitcoin block. That would be fantastic. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I got. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure to check out carpoosmining.com. We've got some new uh, cool stands and adapters and all that. We also have a bunch of uh, free STLs. 
We've got discount codes for various devices like the uh, Nerd QX for Tiny Chip Hub stuff. We've got links to Solo Satoshi stuff and all kinds of other things that I am affiliated with or partnered with. Uh, but those partnerships that I have save you money. And so that is, that's the good thing for you. Plus, uh, when you buy stuff, I get like a few percent, which is nice. So if a bunch of people buy a bunch of stuff, I make a few extra bucks and I'm able to continue making content like this here for you to enjoy. We've got a big week coming up, folks. We've got three new devices to test out here on the channel. We've got two Bitcoin miners. We also have a script miner, my very first script miner. If you don't know what that is, uh, that's to mine stuff like Litecoin and Dogecoin. Everything that I have uh, is a SHA-256. That's the Bitcoin algorithm, Bitcoin Cash, and a bunch of others. Uh, but this is my very first script miner. So I'm excited to talk about that one. And then we've got two additional Bitcoin miners that will be showing up later this week, I think. So those are really cool. One I'm more excited about than the other. Uh, the other one is something that is very popular right now. Uh, one of my affiliate partners started carrying it, and so they are sending me one to check out. But honestly, I could take it or leave it. It'll be fun to get one and test it and make some parts for it here in the Carpoos Mining Studio. Uh, but the other one that I'm getting, I am very excited about. Never seen one before in person. I don't think a lot of people have these. And I am very, very excited to put it, put it through its paces. So uh, if you want to see stuff like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to be one of these guys that's like, hey, guys, please, please subscribe to my channel. Please. For the love of God, uh, uh, please, guys. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to beg for your subscriptions. But... If you want to see more home mining content, you want to hear about devices and hitting blocks and strategies and all that good stuff, leave us a, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to. Totally up to you. Uh, but again, I am uh, I'm excited because there's lots of great stuff going on. We've got new devices that are hitting the market soon. We've got a lot of new things that are happening in our very quickly growing hobby and community. And uh, that's what keeps this stuff all interesting. It's what gives me, you know, it gives me stuff to talk about. Content creation, you think it's just me standing here, but I got to come up with something to say. And fortunately, the whole home mining thing is growing very fast and there's always stuff that's happening. So there's always something to talk about. Uh, but it's difficult to stand here for 12 minutes and just have a monologue. Nobody's talking to me or asking me questions. So I got to like fill the entire space with somehow educational and or entertaining content. I'm doing the best I can. But that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, again, appreciate all the support. The channel is growing very quickly. And uh, other than that, have a happy, wonderful day. Happy mining. Good luck. I hope you hit a block soon. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to answer you. So anyway, have a great day.